Hey Jim, this is your gun. Uh, I had to make a change this morning. Change this valve. Um, these are these are not the right valves for the um, mixing of the water to the air. These three are your water nozzles. Um, you always start the pressure washer up with with this valve closed. Otherwise, you'll send pressure washer pressed compressed water down the line into your air compressor if this valve is open and you've got no air. That's the risk of this style of gun. That valve either has to be closed or you've got to have airflow coming out um, so you don't uh, pressurize the line back to your air compressor. So I'm going to shoot a quick video um, showing how the fan pattern should work. Um, what I do is I start the pressure washer up for these three nozzles get that get that right and make sure that there are no obstructions in these and you'll see a nice a nice fan pattern without the pressure washer running so there's the nice fan pattern off of all three nozzles if those are plugged there won't be a nice v on those uh on those nozzles pressure washers now turned on i'm going to turn the air nozzle on all of the air comes out that nozzle, and now we've got to create the nucleation crystal, and that's done by diverting a little bit of water from these three nozzles down to the nucleation nozzle. And the proper amount, you see I'm not turning it very much at all, so the proper amount is about like that. Now every now and then, the condensation from the air compressor will get in this line and this will get full of water. So about every hour, I, I recommend shutting this off, clearing out the condensation from your air line, and then turning that back on. I also recommend putting a pressure gauge here so you can wash your pressure. You should be running somewhere between 500 and 800 PSI. This particular pressure washer is a 2500, 2.2 gallon per minute. So if your pressure starts to climb into that 900 to 1,000 range, you're still safe. These are 1,200 psi fittings um, with 600 psi ball valves. That that 6 700 psi range is, is, is probably pretty good. If that happens and your pressure starts to climb, you can always add a little bit more to the nucleation nozzle. But when you add too much, you see what starts to happen is it overcomes the air and it's no longer a nucleation nozzle. and the, uh, the pressure drops on those other nozzles. So as the line clears out with the water that just got put in there, properly adjust this nucleation nozzle. Looks like that. Also, the angle is a bit off. Probably want to stand this angle a little bit. Don't know how you're going to attach yours to the stand. This is the stand that was available on eBay. You could also turn this turn this sideways in order to be able to, to bring that down some more.